We uh, continue on page 120 of the prayer book. Please join me as we pray for all people and for the church throughout the world. Almighty and ever-living God, we are taught by your holy word to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all people. We ask you in your mercy to receive our prayers, which we offer to your divine majesty. We pray that you will lead the nations of the world in the ways of righteousness and peace and guide their rulers in wisdom and justice for the tranquility and good of all. Bless especially your servant, our Queen, her representatives and ministers, her parliaments and all who exercise authority in this land. Grant that they may impartially administer justice, restrain wickedness and vice and uphold integrity and truth. And we ask of your goodness, Lord, to comfort and sustain all who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We beseech you to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all who confess your holy name may agree in the truth of your holy word and live in unity and godly love. Give grace, Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, especially uh, to Glenn, our Archbishop, Chris, our Bishop, and to James, Pete and Anne, our ministers, that by their life and teaching they may set forth your true life-giving word and rightly and duly administer your holy sacraments. And to all your people, give your heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that they may receive your word with reverent and obedient hearts and serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we also bless your holy name for all your servants who have died in the faith of Christ. Give us grace to follow their good examples, that with them we may partake of your eternal kingdom. Grant this, Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only advocator our only mediator and advocate, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Now, uh, Catherine is going to continue to lead us in prayer, and after that, James will lead us in the Lord's Supper. 